Friday YouTube. It's another what we're reading. My first stack is what we read this past week. I read The Queen of the Tearling. Uh, this was okay. I have some pretty strong opinions about this that are a little bit biased. Um, I'm a pretty devout Catholic and the first half of this book is all about how in this future dystopian society um, the church, which the author claims that it's Protestant and Catholic, I don't know how that even makes sense. It doesn't, but that's what she claims. But everything that she says about the church in this book is basically Catholic. It's definitely Catholicism. I mean, they have a pope, they have cardinals, they have bishops. I don't know. It just was very, very Catholic. And the whole book is about how bad this church is. Which, okay, I can I can get on board with that if there's a reason. But there was no reason ever given. They just talk about how evil the church is and um, kind of talk about organized religion in general as if it's something for stupid, ignorant, naive kind of people. And I just thought it was really, um, I thought it was really shallow given that we were given n no actual reason ever for why the church is bad. Anyway, I, that's whatever. That was only like the first half of the book. After the first 200 pages, then it actually started getting more into the story. The world building here, aside from the part about the church, was really good. And I really enjoyed it. I got really into it. And I love the magic that's in here because it's not insta magic. You know how sometimes it's like, look at me, I'm super powerful. And, and it's like Mary Jane characters and stuff. It's not like that at all. So yeah, we're, it's like the end of this first, it's the first book of a trilogy, and we're just starting to see magic, and the main character doesn't really know how to control it, how to summon her magic, so I really like that part of it. I cannot remember if I had already talked about this in my last video, in my last week's What We Read. I did finish this. And I'm going to go on to read now the, the new Batman in the new universe for DC Comics. But I read this because this is a volume in which the Joker kills Robin. This was my first time ever reading anything Deadpool. And this is really popular right now because there's a movie coming out. Um, but this was awesome. It was so funny. Um, one of my favorites. It, this is like presidents are dead presidents from the past, obviously, are summoned back to life and they're like zombie presidents and it's just funny. Like in here, Teddy Roosevelt, zombie Teddy Roosevelt wrestles a bear. It was just awesome. And um, there it is right there. <laughs> um, but Deadpool is really funny. He's kind of weird, kind of funny, has like my type of dry, sarcastic sense of humor. So I enjoyed this one and I'll keep going. I also finished book two of The Walking Dead this past weekend when we were, we spent the weekend in Austin. So I read this in the car. Look at this crazy copy that the library gave me. I was so scared the whole time I was reading this. I was like, oh my god, don't fall off, don't fall off. Um, but anyway, I really love, oh, spoiler alerts. Um, I really love The Walking Dead comic. I'm not a big fan of the show, but so far the comic is way better. I read this to my sons this weekend, Max the Brave by Ed Veer, and this was so cute. This was on my library's, like, top children's books of the year or something like that, and this story was so adorable. It's about Max, this little kitten that is looking for mice to chase. Hold on. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, so... Um, Max is this kitten that's looking for mice to chase, but he doesn't actually know what a mice look like. So this is kind of, it reminded me a lot of the Dr. Seuss, what's the Dr. Seuss book? That is, that one that's like, Are You My Mother? I love that book. What? Um, this was super cute, the colors are really pretty, the illustrations are cute, and the story's funny, so... What we're currently reading right now, I'm almost done with Mistress of the Sun. I have like 75 pages left, I think. I really enjoyed this, but I really like historical fiction. One huge problem that I have with this book is that it's called Mistress of the Sun, and, and it's in reference to Mistress to the Sun King, Louis XIV. 
But the book is a lot of, like, it's mostly about her life. So I guess that makes sense. I don't know. But a lot of it is about, you know, court intrigues and things like that. We see very, very little of her actual relationship with the king. As strange as that seems to me. I don't know. Does that seem strange to you? Because it's really weird to me. Um, basically, all we see of their relationship is her birthing child after child for him. And not... Like, we, we're told a lot that they love each other so much, but we're not shown very often why or how or, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I'm just gonna, really quick, I'm still reading The Bizarre Bad Dreams by Stephen King. You know how slow I am with short story collections. Um, I only read, like, maybe one story in between other books. I don't just read them all at the same time, but, um... My next up story is The Bad Kid. I think that's what it's called. It's the one that is was originally published in German or in, in I think another language. Yeah, Bad Little Kid. Was originally published in different languages but not in English. So I'm going to read that next soon. I'm kind of putting this off because my, my to-be-read list is really, really long. And I own this one and the other ones are from the library. So I have to hurry. Anyway, yeah, okay. I said I was going to be fast. I'm still reading this, the Telltale Stories for Boys, to my sons. We're reading, like, one story a night, so we're a little bit over halfway through. And what I'm going to read this coming up week, I am going to read After the End by Amy Plum. The reviews on this are kind of questionable, but I read the Revenant series by Amy Plum, and I really, really loved it. I even read, like, the little novellas. It was so good, but, I mean, it was, like, a like cheap cheap kind of good um, but it was really good I enjoyed it so I'm gonna try this this is another one of her books so we'll see how this goes okay so then after that I have The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Moss Mays Moss I'm not sure um, I had read her novel uh, The Court of Thorns and Roses A Court of Thorns and Roses something like that and I really enjoyed it that was a lot of fun um, but for whatever reason, her more popular novels, I think, her more popular series, Throne of Glass series, did not really appeal to me. I can't remember why, but I had just sort of decided I wasn't going to read it. But then my husband read it, and he loved it, and he won't stop talking about it. He won't quit bugging me until I read it. So I picked up The Assassin's Blade, which is the collection of Throne of Glass novellas that um, my husband said I should read before I started a Throne of Glass, or The Throne of Glass so I'll read these, and if I don't absolutely hate them, I guess I'll keep going. As for my comic, this weekend I have the first volume of Jack of Fables. This is a spin-off series from the Fable series. There was a note on Goodreads that I should read the six volumes of Jack of Fables in between Fables Volume 8 and Fables Volume 9. So I finished Fables Volume 8 last weekend. And so now I'm, I'm reading the Jack of Fables because Goodreads told me to, and I'm a lemming. And then I have the third book of The Walking Dead. The books are actually two volumes together, so um, they're pretty thick, but I am really enjoying this comic, so it's not been a problem for me to get through them, even though that technically means that I'm reading three volumes per weekend instead of my usual two. So yeah, this is what's next for me. And so there it is, my huge mountain of books for this week, and I'm done. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and let me know in the comments below what you're reading, what you're enjoying, and I'll see you next week. Bye, YouTube.